Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the game that I am the most excited about that is supposed to be released this year. Although sadly, we will see. It was intended to release in the first half of 2023, but delays have pushed it back to the second half and into the fall. I do hope that this won't continue, although I would rather a working game with less bugs. My desire to play is getting the better of me. And the game I am of course talking about is Nightingale. Nightingale is a first-person PvE open-world survival crafting game, played solo or cooperatively with friends. You can build, craft, fight, and explore as you venture your way through mystical portals into a variety of amazing and fantastical worlds. It's very much the same thing that we're all used to from other games like Ark, Valheim, and Conan Exiles. However, what's new with this game that those others lack is a deep, rich, cool lore and story something driving your exploration beyond just the acquisition of resources. So, as reported by the game developers, the original inspiration for Nightingale came from a story they had read called Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. This is a book about two wizards who rediscover magic during the Napoleonic times, and how they ultimately understand it and use it to change the course of the world's events. The premise of the book is basically what happens when you pierce the veil effectively between worlds. Then of course, what would be the consequences and impacts to our reality and history and future as a result of that action? This all fascinates me as well, and opening up a world of endless possibilities and mystery, and takes the exploration aspect to the next level because you just never know quite what to expect. The story takes place in the Victorian era. They chose this time because it was a period of our real history where people were the most creative, invention and innovation were off the charts, and our curiosity led to so much acquisition of knowledge. But this world in the game is not quite the world we see when we look out our windows. It is an alternate world. One that has taken a very different path. The basis of this world in the Nightingale game is that there has been an ongoing relationship between the Fae and humanity, and this has been going on for a millennia. No one really knows how it started, or when the Fae crossed over into our world. That's long forgotten to a time before recorded history. But we do know though, in the relationship. But what we do know though, is that this relationship began with humans worshipping the Fae as gods, because of the abilities that they possessed. Then over time, humans began to learn magic from the Fae, giving humans the ability to use these unique powers in a rudimentary way. Then, with humans being humans, eventually that transformed into humans thinking they were equal to the Fae, or in some cases, even superior, because we not only used these unique magics, but we also combined it with technology. And so the Fae left our world and cut themselves off from us, taking most of the magic with them. But the seed of magic had already been planted on our world, from the presence of the Fae for so long. So in this world, alongside science and art, with the Renaissance comes the study of magic, as this amazing new thing for humans to explore. So, then fast forward a few hundred years and the magical city of Nightingale has been established. This is a city where humans from all over the world come to study magic and eventually better understand it. Then they use this knowledge to build portals out to these magical fey realms and learn about them, hoping then to increase their knowledge. And that's where us as players come into the story. We are the Realm Walkers. The Realm Walkers are those brave souls who travel through the portals, exploring, gathering knowledge and helping the people of Nightingale City to gain a better understanding they seek. And for years this is great. But that's not interesting, and not where our story takes place. The story starts at the end of this world. A cataclysmic event has descended upon the Earth. This entity, or whatever it is, is called the Pale, and it begins to surround the world. After using technology in an attempt to survive, humans try to use Earth's portal network to get to Nightingale City. Because, well, they assume that's the last bastion of humanity. You know, safety. But Nightingale has the strength of magic to hold back the Pale. Those who were trying to escape the Pale through the various portals around the planet have been cast asunder. And this is where our journey begins in the game. You as the player decide how you want to tackle challenges within the various realms as you make your way back to Nightingale City. So, when players awake after coming through this broken portal network and find themselves lost in these realms, that's where they meet Puck. He's the character you see featured in every trailer. The one with the gold mask. And as a new player, he will act as your guide through the beginning of our story. The way the game will work is you will have a world where you call home. This will be where you build your base, craft, and basically live. This also will be where you respawn upon death. The game features modular building, very much the same as games like Valheim or Ark Survival, so you will be able to build some epic structures. Now, the way that you will advance gathering resources, common and rare, new blueprints, equipment, and allies will be by traveling through the portals to the other worlds, until ultimately you reach Nightingale City. While in these worlds, you will have a limited time there, and once the time runs out, the world is gone forever. You will travel to worlds that are similar, but you will never encounter the same world again. So be sure to move quickly and get everything you can before your time expires. So let's talk about one of the aspects of Nightingale that really got me hyped for it. 
and that's the realm card system and how you will do your traveling. Opening a portal in Nightingale will not be something you do casually. You will need to prepare and then once ready provide focus and direction using the realm card system. This system serves two purposes within the game. Cards are the key that unlock access to brand new types of realms, each with unique environments, creatures, and discoveries to be explored. And also, using these realm cards lets you apply agency and choice over what kind of realm you're going to open, allowing you to connect to one that fits your current needs and desires for adventure. Exploring the realms and acquiring magical ingredients will allow you to learn recipes and craft new realm cards. And when you're ready to adventure, you will select a limited number of cards to play in combination. This combination is what will dial you into which out of the many possible realms within the Fey universe you are heading to next. Some cards will have major effects on the environment of your destination, with all the corresponding variety you'd expect in flora and fauna calling that realm home. Others will have more specific impacts on aspects of the realm such as the weather you'll endure, which in turn may have side effects, such as how creatures behave or what plants thrive. For example, will the realm be a deadly place full of predators and danger, or will it be a calm garden world filled with vegetation and friendly creatures? Will it be filled with abundant natural resources or scattered with ruins and the remains of previous explorers? Will it be dark and battered by storms, or clear and lit up by a strange celestial body? The combinations provide endless possibilities to explore. And the very cool part is that they designed the cards to not have a singular effect. This was done to prevent memorization or online guides listing combinations for realms. No one's cards will likely be the exact same, and these small variables will lead you to some very different and interesting worlds. So guys, when this game launches I will 100% be playing it and almost everything about it has me excited. I only scratched the surface here and there is so much more to learn and explore. We will have a blast opening portals and exploring what we have uncovered. Have you guys been following the development of Nightingale? And are you as excited as me to get this one? Let me know in the comments. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.